prehistoric times and ancient history are defined by the materials that were harnessed during that period. We have the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, and the Iron Age. Today is a little more complex. We live in the Space Age, the Nuclear Age, and the Information Age. And now we are entering the Graphene Age, a material that will be so influential to our future, it should help define the period we live in. Potential applications for graphene include uses in medicine, electronics, light processing, sensor technology, environmental technology, and energy. And speaking of energy, this brings us to Samsung's incredible battery technology. Imagine a world where mobile devices and electric vehicles charge five times faster than they do today. Cell phones, laptops, and tablets that fully charge in only 12 minutes. Or electric cars that fully charge at home in only an hour. Samsung will make this possible because on November 28th, they announced the development of a battery made out of graphene with charging speeds five times faster than standard lithium ion batteries. But before I talk about that, let's quickly go over what graphene is. When you first hear about graphene's incredible properties, it sounds like a supernatural material out of a comic book. But graphene is real, and it's made out of graphite, which is the crystallized form of carbon, and is commonly found in pencils. Graphene is a single atom thick structure of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice, and is a million times thinner than a human hair. And here's where it gets really interesting. It is 200 times stronger than steel, and as much as 6 times lighter. Let me say that again. It is 200 times stronger than steel and 6 times lighter. That is freaking incredible. Not only that, it can stretch up to a quarter of its length and at the same time, it's the hardest material known, harder than a diamond. Graphene can also conduct electricity faster than any known substance, 140 times faster than silicone. And it can also conduct heat 10 times better than copper. On top of that, it is also transparent. 97% of light passes through graphene. And lastly, graphene is also the most impermeable material known. Even helium atoms can't pass through graphene. Alright, graphene was theorized by Philip Wallace in 1947 and attempts to grow graphene started in the 1970s but never produced results that could be measured experimentally. But then in 2004, University of Manchester scientist Andrei Geim and Konstantin Navislav successfully isolated one atom thick flakes of graphene for the first time by repeatedly separating fragments from chunks of graphite using tape. And they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2010 for this discovery. Over the past 10 years, the price of graphene has dropped at a tremendous rate. In 2008, graphene was one of the most expensive materials on Earth. But production methods have been scaled up since then and companies are selling graphene in large quantities now. Graphene production has grown from 12 tons in 2009 to over 390 tons in 2017. With the easier accessibility of graphene, there are more and more scientists researching this amazing material for potential applications, which can be game-changing for so many aspects of our everyday lives. So now let's talk about Samsung's battery. The breakthrough research was done at Samsung Advanced Institute of Technology or SAIT in collaboration with Seoul National University School of Chemical and Biological Engineering. The researchers at SAIT discovered a mechanism to synthesize graphene into a 3D form like popcorn using silicone dioxide. They call this 3D form a graphene ball, which they use to coat the electrodes of the battery. Electrodes are parts of the battery that allow flow of an electrical current. According to Samsung, using the graphene ball material on batteries increased their capacity by 45% and like I said before, increase their charging speed by five times. Current lithium ion batteries take an hour to fully charge, but this will be reduced to 12 minutes with this new technology. This is really, really exciting because Samsung not only aims to improve batteries for mobile devices, they also want to improve electric vehicle batteries as well. Lead scientist at SAIT, Dr. Sun Hyuk, said, Our research enables mass synthesis of multifunctional composite material graphene at an affordable price. At the same time, we were able to considerably enhance the capabilities of lithium-ion batteries in an environment where the market for mobile devices and electric vehicles is growing rapidly. 
Our commitment is to continuously explore and develop secondary battery technology in light of these trends." End quote. Samsung has filed applications for the Graphene Ball technology patent in the United States and Korea, and I think they will be aggressively working towards implementing this technology commercially as soon as possible. Samsung already produces lithium-ion batteries for smartphones, smartwatches, laptops, tablets, power tools, and even electric cars. Matter of fact, they will be opening an electric vehicle battery plant in Hungary in the second half of 2018 and that plant will be able to produce 50,000 batteries for electric vehicles annually. I really really hope Samsung can develop this technology soon, but we will have to wait and see what happens. Alright, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to know how cool life will be like in the future, join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe and this is the end of our journey.